Welcome, my name is Dr. Dean and I am here with Vinzo. Today we're going to be going over the core X system, drill step number one, the core neutral. This is sort of the condensed explanation. This mm -hmm. is the redo from during COVID when we had to wear masks. Yeah. So we're gonna just zoom right through this. Okay, first, two parts. First part, setup. Setup is the plan of the plan and map. So we have we have three things that we're gonna focus on. Mm -hmm. We're gonna engage the inner unit, which is the respiratory out apparatus. Mm -hmm. We're going to engage the outer unit, which is the myofascial slings, and we're yeah. going to engage spinal stability, spinal stability, which equals mobility, right? Spinal mobility. So yeah. spinal stability doesn't mean a stuck spine, mm -hmm. stiff spine, spinal stability has to have mobility, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's the moving spine that moves through all the athletic shapes has to have stability in all of those positions, mm -hmm. right? Good. And then we're going to add on top of that ground force reaction. And we're going to have to manage or you know, engage the, the load or the force. Mm -hmm. And there are always three parts. There is accepting a load, mm -hmm. which he's accepting, he's accepting a load, for example. That load is transmitting probably through the myofascial slings, mm -hmm. right? And then there's producing. Mm -hmm. So produce, good, producing a load. So remember, three parts. Ex accept the load, transmit, and create or or produce the load, right? Mm -hmm. And then when we're talking about load, we're talking about load, torsion, and shear. Right. Mm -hmm. So, and that's covered elsewhere. Okay. And then the third part is, of course, readiness and awareness. Exactly. Readiness is um, awareness of self. And yeah. then the uh, awareness part is awareness of your. Um, the move the the environment around you right so yeah. remember you're not just an athlete or mm -hmm. exercising inertly in space yeah. right you have to remember the value of being it's different if you're in a pool if you're on a court if mm -hmm. you're on a track right all it's, that's the scene is different where and what is your placement right what's mm -hmm. your and what's the responsibility you have in that space around you okay great <clears throat> so the second part is execution which is called the map part of plan and map, mm -hmm. right? So then we have six things we have to pay attention to. First of all, you're, you're, you must be... With that, you need to be conscious. You need to know where you're going and why you're doing what you're doing. Right. So with that, you, you basically take something. If you know it uh, and you're, or you're learning it, you're taking something that's novel and you're teaching yourself so you can make it a part of your memory so we can right. get back to that shape. Right. So the two parts to consciousness are you already know it and you're practicing it or it's brand new. Yeah. Right. So today, for example, you may be doing the core neutral. It may be brand new or you may be still just practicing it. Okay. And then proximal to distal, three, quality and consistency of movement, four, specificity, which is what are you going to do with the drill? Right. Mm -hmm. We don't do correct system step drills for no reason. Yeah. Just you know, by themselves without some sort of like, for example, mm -hmm. you know, we're going to use a tennis racket. We might use the baseball. We might use the basketball. We might use the softball or the mm -hmm. baseball. And then five, which is the most important part of the execution or the map is continuing to reset with, with failure mm -hmm. of being able to create the shape, which mm -hmm. is not fatigue. Yeah. Right. Okay. And then six, all the drills are acceleration mm -hmm. into deceleration. Exactly. It's that quickness. It's that right? That suddenness into the shape, right? So he's going to be relaxed, right? And let's say he's going to be accepting maybe a football is being thrown at him, right? And he's going to quickly go into core neutral, go, right? All right. So let's, yep. So go ahead and stay, uh, go, hold. Okay. Fingers are up. Palms are below the elbows. Elbows are below the shoulder. The hands are wider than the shoulder. The elbow is 120 degrees. The hip is 120. The knee is 120. The knees are wider than the hip. The feet might be wider than the knees, or they may not. The toes can be forward, or they can be pushed apart. He is not in spinal extension, right? His spine is in neutral. His gaze is high. He has an awareness, a conscious awareness, sports awareness inside, but you can't see that, right? So a lot of these drill steps you can see his shape, but 90% of what the value of the position or the practice of the position is all inside of him, right? Okay, great. And then release. Good. Turn sideways, face that way. And from the relaxed position, drive into core neutral, go. So notice I'm giving him a cue, right? So I'm not just saying do a set of 10. 
He has, he could do a set of 10 on his own, but if there are two people, he's got a coach, we need to, we need to function to a Q. So you can see here clearly 120, 120, you can see less 120 here, and you can see that he's not in spinal extension. So he's got a nice lumbar curve here. His hip is slightly tucked under. His shoulder blades here are parked in what's called scaption because this limb here is at 30 degrees from the shoulder. Scaption is the most stable position of the scapula. Relax. Good. And then face me. Show them from the rear. Yep, directly. Okay. okay. And then core neutral, go. Good. So you can see here from the back, Right, you can see clearly his, he's got a nice little lumbar curve here. And if you, could, if you could really stick your butt out so they could see, right, and then bend back, right, that's too much. And you're gonna see a lot of that lumbar spine. So if he tucks his hip under, right, you can see he goes back to neutral. And you can tell because the back, his occipital is pointing straight back. That means his gaze is forward and you can see the spread into scaption there, relax. Okay, let's turn and face me. Let's be sort of on a diagonal a little bit. Now we're gonna do a set of 10, okay? Sure. So from the relaxed position, only work on Q, right? Okay. Work on Q. Go. Release. Go. Good. Release. Go. Release. Right now, look, I'm not timing, I'm not going. Right? So what we're doing is breaking away from prediction. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to move on prediction, right? And go. Yeah, relax. So you can tell that he's in those, when he gets into the position, he's very focused, go. Right, so while I'm talking, I cue him when he's not expecting it, release. Yeah, go. Nice, good, release. Go, good, and relax. Good, go, hold. Yeah, relax. Neutral, go. Good, right, so give him a, give him a tool, right? Ready, neutral. That's neutral, okay? Doesn't have to be the hands fanned, right? So this is, this is a little bit more sport specific and relax. Good, now I'm gonna give you a tennis racket, okay? One hand here, one finger's here, right? Just like that, good, okay? Nice, okay, you're gonna fan the racket straight up. Go, neutral, good. So, right, that's good. So he's getting ready for volley and relax. Great, so don't be afraid to put tools in the athlete's hands, okay? Go ahead and unzip. Okay. And then what we like to do is we like to do, in the particular position, we like to do a little bit of rhythmic stabilization. Let's come back here a little okay. bit. All right, yeah, so lock it in, go. Okay, so he's out of the device right now. I'm gonna place my hands here. We already have a video on this rhythmic stabilization. I'm just gonna, Right, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, right? And then I'm gonna release and I'm gonna see if he continues to turn on his own, right? Now I haven't done anything and is he already trying to turn without any contact, right? And then this is another favorite of mine here, which is push, pull at the hip, the shoulder, the hip and the shoulder. And we're looking for stability of the spine, push, pull, and then turn and face this way quickly. Yeah, the whole body. Okay. Yeah, go. Good, yeah, nice. And then I'm just gonna show them from the back, push, pull. So I'm looking for any distortion of the spine or if the spine is able to stay in that upright position. That's great, relax. Okay, so that's core neutral. Um, any questions, please email us. We've got lots of videos on core neutral. A lot of videos. Yeah, thanks for joining us and stay tuned for the next core system drill step. Let's look a little bit more at the core neutral. So you'll notice that I'm focusing on the acceleration into deceleration. When I land in the core neutral, I'm not stiff. I'm actually still quite soft, sprung. I feel light. I don't feel like um, I'm toning my body too much. Relax. Okay, here we go. Neutral. But this is also neutral. This is also neutral.
Elbows should be 120 degrees. Hands are lower than the shoulders. Fingers are spread. Palms are facing forward. Elbows are down. Feet are wider than hips width distance. Pelvis is flexed to 120 degrees. Lumbar spine is neutral. Gaze is forward. Take a big breath in and relax. One of the best things you can do with core neutral is actually hold your athlete or patient in the core neutral position at the end of the drill set. 